everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Greta Tenninger, and I am playing some Mass Effect 3. Let's quiz the Prothean! Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Also, I've got the air conditioning on now. <sighs> By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. Yeah, pretty much. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That, that would be helpful. very useful. Yeah. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. Sounds Beginning like the beacons. to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. I don't think that's how science yes, works. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. Can you sense anything about this room? So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm that impressed. His name was Grunt. That, yeah, that would and be if Grunt. If he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Thanks? Uh... Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. <laughs> what was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? Oh, God damn Can it. you tell me about your religious beliefs or perhaps the... We are dead now. They are. What does it matter? I'm sorry. A studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. Ouch! What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. Yep. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Ah. Uh, Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so severe. Warlike species! Very early, we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For yep. a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Well, that sucks! They were already in the middle of the war when they got attacked by the Reapers! Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. Hopefully we so had some pearls. you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. And everybody died. Except for you. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. <laughs> choice! But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Thanks! Well, thank you, I think. 
Ah, the reason we're still alive, kind of. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. What about Vigil? Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did so have the a research facility, the oldest one. whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. And all died! All my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. Aww. How did your what people is usually the first thing the to get wiped out? I forgot Attrition. to hit the button. We fought them system by system. Planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon, it is a weakness. Why do you and think your you own lost. cycle lost the war? Everybody died. Our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. We don't actually cooperate, Liara. I don't know what you're talking about. Goodbye. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. <laughs> they used to eat flies. <laughs> they used to eat flies! <laughs> I wonder what happened if you walked Commander, into Morden and said that. You may count on me. I am known as Javik. I don't think Liara and, and Javik like each Normandy, other. Javik. <laughs> welcome aboard, Javik. We're gonna have fun times. By the way, pro tip, if you, if you don't have an active romance and you do the Citadel DLC, you, you might end up sleeping with Javik. <laughs> because reasons. Alrighty then. Oh, we haven't talked to Deanna, or Diana, have we? Okay, Miss Allers. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. And the Prothean. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe okay. I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. <laughs> I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Ratings are important, apparently. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. How? <laughs> I would rather Commander? like to know. I, I would rather like to know how you managed this. <laughs> okay, let's go. Where am I going? See, I see. Let's go. Uh, where am I going?
You've got new messages, Commander. Cool. Let's go. What do I got? Article on Eden Prime. Yay! They got service off of Eden Prime. Yay! Let's go talk to Edie. Yes. And then we'll go do a mission. Uh, we'll go talk to the 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 summit. We'll do the summit. Yes, that's what we'll do next. Edie, how's your new body? Yes, Shepard. Does that body have any useful advantages? Besides being hot? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I don't think that's what I she meant. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation Kay. servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, really? my Such primary as? objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. Because if the Normandy dies, you die. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. Ha, shut up, Joker! The from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. You're experimenting! So you're capable of making <laughs> improvements on your own. Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. She's so adorable! She okay, you know what? Edie, you are my sister. No, you can't be my sister from another species, mister. Um, you're my... You're my little sister. <laughs> oh, God. Edie's now my little sister. Okay. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. She is the I ship. I like it. Aww. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new cool. feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. Ah! Uh... <laughs> That's a joke. The look on her face! <laughs> she was like, if you did that, we'd die. <laughs> okay. How did you and Joker make it out of dry dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. Really? The Alliance commandeered the Normandy. I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI. So the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands. So they often brought him on board under guard. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait. You can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I, I could hack uh, the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. I the soldiers hope... guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. <laughs> they are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. Not really. Also, Edie, you're awesome. Okay, that's everything. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. <laughs> the body that I stole. So a Prothean? A yep. real live Prothean? Yep. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? <laughs> there may have been some bouncing. There was a little bouncing. Uh, there. And by a little, I mean she could not stop. Okay. Let's go talk to the summit people. Politics. Time for some politicking. 
Over here. Time to meet with the diplomats. Hello? I don't think there's anything special here. No. Diplomatic ships. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. There's not enough alcohol in the world for this, guys. It's empty. And hope this doesn't start another war. Except for the two drops that just spilled. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. I believe he is. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. Rex! And I'm not just some junkyard Varen. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got Love my you own too, problems. Rex. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I like Victus. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Da, da, da. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea Why am I wearing dress? the navy uniform? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us? To fight a war you couldn't win. It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tie. Yeah, you tell them like it is! Useful. The you genophage bitch. was the only way to keep your urges in check. I don't like her. I'm just gonna say it now, I Donald do not Trash like her. may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. And Your people dicks. should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? Nope. That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. Bullshit. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if Damn. you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! 1.5. Whether or not they deserve a cure is actually, academic. Ish. It would take years to formulate one. Nope. My information says otherwise. The and your information is? Malin grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. And we're immune! So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where did you get this? It could be a fabrication. Why? Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, yep. is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? Oh, God damn it! How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? She's like, God damn it! <laughs> the females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. Good, we're going then to go I get them. You, Commander. The consequences of this will shut up. <laughs> will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're cool. not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. I like Victus. We're going. He's on my side. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Yeah, Dalatras, a bully has few friends. Hmm, I wonder who we know who could be a bully. How about the Solarians that put the Genophage on the Krogans and caused billions of deaths and stillborns? 
I don't I don't like the genophage, by the way. We're gonna take Edie and Jobic. Cause when I lost my footage before, they're who I took, and Jobic is extremely entertaining to take on this mission. Um Yes, please! Particle rifle OP. That one. It's got a big capacity. We don't need to really worry about the capacity on it. Stability. Yes. Okay. Still not got any weapon mods for my pistols. Let's finish off some. No, no. Slam. Even though I haven't really used Slam very much. Um, this one! Wow, we haven't used Edie yet. Oh, we used Liara in the other mission. I Wait a minute! No, I swear I've used her before! Um... Power... Tech... Uh... That one. Let's give you some incinerate! Set things on fire! <laughs> Everything gets set on fire! Fire! Kill them in their face! Then let's get some... Decoy! And now a little bit from the Vengeful Ancient for Jobic. Boof. Um, power damage, power damage, um, yes. Let's get you some dark channel. Two, three, um, damage, then a 30, slow the target speed, damage, and we'll give you some lift grenades. Cool. Now let's, um, let's go save ourselves some Krogans. Nothing could possibly go wrong during this exchange. Nothing. Nothing is going to go horrible. Everything's going to be fine. We are going to get the Krogan female out. Nobody's going to attack. Nobody's going to get shot. And nobody's going to die. Jum, jum, jum. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. Oh, I can't wait till I finish that up here, so let's keep it simple. Sure. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. Or dies. I still don't trust a word they say. Oh, be Let friendly. Let the play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll kill them out. We will slaughter the Solarians if they get in our way. Job it. <laughs> He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun. Thanks, Come Rex. In. I have a Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. I'm pretty sure we're not a freak show. You know, they look kind of like... Uh, from above up there, they look Commander, kind of like Solarian the Inca. ground control says we don't have clearance to land. From Delta South America, the steps this of herself. South America. I knew Things they'd like never keep their word. Oh, good, don't worry about it, Rex. Stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex, calm your tits. Rex. Duh. Rex. We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? I don't know what they were trying to accomplish by doing that. <laughs> By the way, snipers. Did you really think I wouldn't have snipers, Rex? Really? Hold! Stand down! Hold your fire! Commander Shepard, restrain your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. 
I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. <laughs> Rex, calm down. As would we? But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying. My eyebrows keep glitching into this my eyes. Can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <sighs> Don't worry about I it, Rex. Can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong, and all bets are off. Okay. Calm your tits, Rex. It'll be fine. It'll be I'm fine. Quiz, I appreciate your understanding, Commander. I like With this war guy. On everyone's minds. Our people are on edge. He's cool, people. Careful! Watch the containment shield. That's a yog. Is well acquainted with that species. Just a They're little. Much smaller in my cycle. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Such what as? What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. What? Nothing is <laughs> simple with Solarians, is it? No, Science no, it's has not. has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Like studying Krogan? Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. Especially because they haven't been like attacked by the them. Reapers yet. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Okay. Attention, biolabs. So Please that means... This is where all you Solarians Hi, Rex. Shepherd. I don't like this. I should be the one going in. Don't worry about it. you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> it wasn't idle. Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. You'd fit right in. Thanks. tipped you off about the females here. Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> Rex! <laughs> He's correct. It was a delicacy in our cycle. <laughs> this is why you bring Java to Sir Cash. <laughs> okay, then. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. But Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll yeah. fight for the last Krogan to keep it that way. <laughs> we that's will. that's exactly what it will take. We're Krogan. We're ready. You can never be ready for what's coming. Shut up, Dominic. What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. Damn. Brutal. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. Yeah. Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Uh, the Reapers! Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Nope. Ever since Sovereign <laughs> showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant monsters. I assume you're referring to the Rachni Wars. Well, it sure wasn't synthetics that stopped them. Besides, your kind might have helped them. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> it's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. God damn it, Rex. A reminder to all personnel. Okay. Procedures are in the sure. Why not? Hey, look who it is. Hi, Kirihi. I haven't seen you in a while. It's Major Kirihi. I'd heard you were coming. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. <laughs> yeah, the guy who yes, was with uh, no Kaden. to our mission on Vermeer. When he Hold died. The line. You saved my men that day. No problem. Are the Solarians prepared for war with the Reapers? I've heard what they're doing to your Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. Yeah. Well, rumors suggest you're building a super weapon of some kind. Rumors are true. This business with the females is part of it. I need the Tyrians' support, and they need the Krogans. Which is why I never became a diplomat. Too much hand holding. 
Leave it to the Dalatresses. <laughs> By the way, your Dalatrash is kind of... Your Dalatrash? I was going to say your Dalatrash is kind of a jerk, but I think I like calling her the Dalatrash. I'm going to start doing that. How'd you get posted to this base, Major? I let the Dalatrash. team on the trash and found the females. Nasty business. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. Test subjects were unaccounted for. The females yep. easily escaped his lab. And you found them. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Dalatrash. Burmire. Trash. <laughs> yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage cure, yet now yep. it's the key to an alliance. Yep. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within STG. Good or bad? I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Our colony yeah, three he's kind of away saw it. <laughs> he isn't pleased with the security arrangements. You don't Apologies. say! But better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our med pig couldn't handle it. I like you, Kiri. Security seems high. Kira you expecting hey, trouble? You say his name. Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Another reason to like him. Idea. A good principle to live by. Who's this? He's a um, friend. A Prothean. Prothean. Of course. Amazing what they can do with genetic modification these days. Some new psychological tactic, Commander? No. Give the Reapers a good scare? And what no. are you really? Drell? Turian? He's a Prothean. Prothean. Oh. I see. <laughs> it's like, oh, you are actually a Prothean. Uh, sorry. Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And Commander? Yes? Regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking Earth. Yes! You'd do that. Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. It would be an honor to fight alongside you, Kirihi. Good day. Goodbye. So, at least we have one Solarian on our side. Okay. Even though the rest of them want to get me killed. Or at least they will when we cure the genophage. This is Senior Research Director Wicks, authorizing visitor access to lower level. Now take this elevator down, and someone will... That's something I've wondered about. Why do all the Solarians have that, like, breast thing there? It's like, you can just grab them. What's happening? It's like the perfect little handle on all of their outfits. You can literally grab them and toss them to the Since side by that. Activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. I mean, I don't think that's, like, actual flesh under, like, underneath that that they have to cover. I think that's just part of the design of their outfits. It's just grab the thing on their chest, throw them to the ground, and then they're dead. It just doesn't seem very defensive to me, especially for armor. But then again, as already shown, I have a tendency to overthink armor. Probably because I'm a cosplayer. And making Shepard's armor is making me cry. Okay. All also, are accounted for, sir. Hi, Shepard. Morden. Excellent timing. Good to have you here. Love you, Morden. Morden? Eyesight's still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. His speech is strange. Yeah, okay. he's a little special. Excellent. You're back with STG. <laughs> special consultant. No. Oh, I'm Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Oh God, I love you, Morden. I love all of these characters. <laughs> Helped female Krogan, fed information to Clan Erdnot, encouraged political pressure to free females. You must be of course it was Morden. Source. Of course it yes. was him. Can explain later. Security warnings not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These didn't survive. Ah. I see. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed. Data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. Oh, honey. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here. Yes. Hey. Last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... Problematic. We don't understand things, Morton. I think it's a little bit more than problematic. Just a little. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. 
You don't say. I'm Commander also. Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? That would serve no tactical purpose. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? This Krogan is amazing! I really like her. She's... Also this music that goes with her. Just listen to it. Okay. Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. Aww. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander yep. Shepard? Why are you here? And we will answer that question in the next video. My name is Miss Scarlet Teenager, and I have been playing some Mass Effect 3. I'll see you all in the next episode.